Friends, whatever light we use or socket we use to turn on and off these, we use switch. Through switch, we turn on and off. But here I am going to do something and what will happen is if I touch here, only if I just touch here, light or we can say socket will turn on. And on again touching it, light or socket will turn off automatically. There is no need to press any switch here, we just have to touch. To make this switchboard, you need a sensor. You have to use capacitive touch sensor here. If you look into this sensor here, then you will find total 3 terminals here. With these, we have to do connections. After this, you need a 5 volt DC relay module. This is our DC relay module. Details of terminals of this DC relay module is shown here. And here you will find 3 pins. On these 3 pins, power supply is to be provided to operate this relay. Here we have to connect 5 volt DC power supply. This relay operates on 5 volt. This is why we need 5 volt power supply. For this, I am going to use a mobile charger of 5 volt. If you want, you can use a battery also. After this, we need a socket. First of all, what you have to do, this sensor here, B terminal in this sensor, these two, we have to short these with each other. Benefit of this is, if we touch this sensor once, your light or socket will turn on. And when you touch this second time, then switchboard will turn off. Now the sensor here, to operate this sensor, we have to provide 5 volt power supply. For this, what we do, this charger here, with positive power supply wire, connect a wire, and in this sensor where VCO is written, connect this wire there. After this, with this black wire, connect a wire, and where ground is written, connect this wire there. Similarly, this relay module here, to this relay module also, we have to provide 5 volt power supply. So from this charger, connect one wire and with the 5 volt terminal of relay module, connect the wire. After this negative wire here, from here, connect a wire and with the relay module, connect negative power supply. Now what we have to do, this sensor here, on touching it, output command which is going to be generated, that will be connected with this relay module. For this, what we did, from IO terminal, connect a wire and with IN terminal, connected this wire. To operate this charger also, we have to provide power supply. So here we will use AC power supply. With this phase supply, connect a wire and connect this wire with charger. Similarly, take neutral supply from here and connect with the charger. So with the charger, we connected 230 volt AC power supply. Now in this socket, we want AC power supply. For this, what we will do, with this phase supply, connect one wire and whichever is the common terminal, connect wire here. Now from this NO contact, connect one wire and in this switchboard, connect this wire with this socket. At right hand side pin here, we connected phase supply with this. Now neutral power supply is also required. For this, what we will do, connect a wire from this neutral supply and with the neutral pin of the socket, connect this wire. So here the connections are completed. Now let's do this practically. Let's short both the B terminals. Here is the charger, with face wire of charger, connect one wire and take other end of wire and in this sensor, there is VCC terminal. So with this pin, connect this wire. Now with negative power supply here, connect one wire. After connecting this, take other end of wire and connect with ground terminal. So we connected positive power supply and negative power supply. Now we want a relay module of 5 volt. To this module also, provide positive power supply. Now take this wire and with positive power supply, connect this wire. From this sensor, output power supply we get, I mean with center pin here, connect one wire with the pin and to this relay module, at the terminal where command goes to turn on relay, connect wire here. So here connection is completed. Now take this sensor and in this switchboard here, I mean at dummy plate, paste this in this way. Now this charger here, mounted inside switchboard. Now here our charger is mounted. Now this relay module here, let's place this also in switchboard. Put it inside and mount it in this way, so that charger can be connected easily and there will be no problem to relay module. So I mounted this relay module also. Now to this charger, for providing phase and neutral supply, I am using a cable here. In wire of this cable, 
I am using brown wire for phase supply and blue wire for neutral. So with this charger I am soldering this wire. Now to enter this cable inside I am clearing the path. Let's fix this here. Now in this relay module at common terminal connect one wire here. Now take other end of wire with this phase wire we have to connect this wire. In this relay module with anode terminal connect one wire with this. Take other end of this wire and this right hand side pin here I mean phase pin of socket connect this wire with this pin. Now this blue wire here I am going to use this as neutral. So with this neutral wire I am soldering this wire. Now take other end of wire and in this socket with the neutral pin connect this wire. I am connecting this earth wire also here so that we can get earthing protection also. So the switchboard we desired is now completed. Now what I will do on this dummy plate let's touch it. On touching it you can see light is turned on. If I touch again light will be turned off. You can see on touching light is on when we touch again light goes off. So friends in this way at your home you can make touch switchboard. Friends how was this video please comment in the comment box and express your views. If you like this video then do like share and comment on my video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.